Hey guys, the Jace Dog here, and a welcome back to another NRL 2019 Traders unboxing on the channel. That's right, guys. Today is going to be episode number five of the NRL 2019 Traders on the channel. So if you have been enjoying these guys and you do enjoy everything else on the channel, whether it's unboxings, gameplays, or whatever it may be, make sure you hit that like button hard guys, but not too hard because you'll break your computers. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to join the dog squad. And guys, also if you want to follow me on all my social medias, there are a link in the description down below and we will have a playlist for all of the 2019 traders on the channel. So you can go and check out all of the other videos if you've missed any of them guys. Feel free to go and check out all the other ones from the previous years as well. So today guys, as you can know, we have got a new background type of mat. I went and bought myself a new type of, I guess you could say, playing mat. Of course, if you know me, you know I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. So of course, I went and got myself a Dragon Ball Z mat. And we have, of course, all seven balls, but you can only see one and two and then the tops of the others. So I like it. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you'd like the mat as well. But we got rid of the other one. It was just a plain black mat before, but now we have some awesome type of design in the background and I'm look, moving forward I'm going to try and get a personalized map for the unboxings for the channel so guys stay tuned for that and I know it's been a little bit of a wait for this episode it's been very busy with work and personal life stuff so I'm starting to get time to get the chance to record games and cards so why not jump back into it with a banger of an episode like I said this is episode number five however this is a 10 booster pack episode, right up in your face. That's right, 10 packs guys, two from each news agency. So what is that? That is five different news agencies, two packs from each of them. That's right, the last one we did, what? Two from three different news agencies, six packs total. So this one's 10 with two from five different news agencies. Moving forward, trying to get some good stuff in this episode hopefully some more like really rare cards but we can only hope guys so like i said without further ado it is time to jump into episode number five of the nrl 2019 traders let's do this guys so we are ready as you can see now you can see the three star the four star and the five star and of course right there and right there is the six and seven star ball so very very cool i love it it is a dragon ball super mat if you're just wondering but it is definitely perfecto. So, also I want to let you know how many cards we need left in this series, guys. We've done four episodes. After this one, this should hopefully knock out a bunch. So I'm only going to go through the list once, and then of course, if like it gets to like to say the next episode and we only need a couple, then I'll recap which ones we need. So from the Broncos, we need Boyd, Azeko, Milford, and Nikorima. From the Raiders, we need Hodson. And Lelua from the Bulldogs, we need the Checklist and Martin. From the Sharks, we need Moylan, Pryor, Townsend. Titans, we need the Checklist and Arrow. Eels, we need Funa, Blake, and Walker. Storm, we need the Checklist, Adokar, Kenny Bromwich, and Munster. From the Knights, we need SASA and Watson. From the Cowboys, we need Felt, T. Marie, and Scott. From the Eels, we need Avaro and Mayu. From the Panthers, we need Fisher Harris, which is the only one I believe that only needs one person, so that's pretty cool. I think the max is about four, uh, per, like on some of the teams. Uh, from the Rabbitohs, we need Georgie Burgess and Tommy Burgess, and of course, if you know from the previous season, Georgie Burgess, he eluded me for so goddamn long. And of course, we need DeBellin, Graham, Mickens, and Widdop from the Dragons. From the Roosters, we need Cordner and Radley. From the Warriors, we need Afua and Beal. And from the Tigers, we need the Checklist and Luke Brooks. So those are the ones we're gonna look out for in this episode, guys. Hoping that we can pull these, most of them, majority of them. And of course, as we always do, we're gonna recap the inserts. So we have Parallel. Uh, I'm just gonna go through and say what I've pulled and what I haven't. So Parallels, yep. Face of the Games, yep. Season to Remember, yep. Club Hero, yep. Star Toon, yep. Uh, State of Origin, yes. Last line of defense, I'm pretty sure I did get that, so that was pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, that was in the last episode, I think. Um, we don't have any of the normal NRL Authentics, and we don't have any of the normal... Oh. And we don't have any of the Emerald uh, SAS cards. Retirements, no. 4 and 20, no. Premiership predicted, yes, in the first episode. And Legend Signatures, no. So, 
we still have a lot of rares that we have not pulled. So, like I said, without further ado, it is time to dive right into this one and hope that we can get ourselves some good cards, finish some more teams off. No teams have been finished yet. So here we go, we're starting with one that we already need. It is McKins, which I'm pretty sure I just said that, that we did need him, yes we did. So McKins, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the ones that we needed of the bases right here. We're gonna put our um, pearls probably, move that over a bit. So we'll go normals that we needed, pearls, and then rares. Rares are gonna have their own little black spot right there. So McKins, yes. Thompson, no, we already have you, so we don't need you. Kiri, no. Reynolds, no. And then Connor Watson, we do need you, but we got you as a face of the game card. Very nice. Show you the back quickly so you can have a look, but I'm not going to go through it. So Connor Watson up there. And then, of course, we got Felt as our Cowboys parallel card up the top. We have Addo Car, which we did need Addo Car. I was pretty sure that we didn't need him. Yes, we did. And of course, guys, if I do miss any arrow, there's another one we needed. Uh, Cherry Evans, no, we don't. And Luke Bateman. So, guys, if I do miss any of the cards that I, you know, do need, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. I will find out after this episode is done anyway. So, that is going to be the case. So, like I said, if I don't put one card and I put it in that pile down there and I throw it to the side, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Also, let me know, have you finished your set yet for the season? I'm curious to know. Okay, so I don't think we need this dude, because I said from the Warriors, it was Beal and Afua, so not him. Van Hunt, no. Checklist for the Tigers, yep, we need that. So that is going up the top. And Avaro from the Eels, we do need you as well. And our rare is going to be none other than Josh Papali from the Queensland Maroons. Couple of little bit of battle wounds on the nose and the forehead right there, mate. A little bit of the battle wounds, eh? So there's the back. I think this is our second ever uh, Maroons card? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So that's an awesome one right there to get. Another one I don't have. Nathan Peets as our pearl. We have Kalen Ponga from the Knights. We have Braley. We have Kotrick and we have Josh Jackson. Very nice. So I'm going through it relatively quickly, guys, because we have done uh, this is our fifth episode so we've done a fair amount but not not as much as what we usually do but we do have 10 packs to do in this episode don't want it to be too long for you all but we definitely are kicking ass on this right now so kick out talk about kicking ass this kick out <laughs> Gavin Cooper Paul Vaughan two of us a check and a rare is going to be a ooh, what is this season to remember Jerome Luai Luai yeah Luai uh, Stars and Panthers win in round 17. Very nice. Haven't pulled one of those for a little bit, so that's pretty cool. I think I might have pulled one in the last episode, if not the episode before that. Jutherson is our parallel card. Moving on, we have McCulloch. We have Don. Guira. And Krapasi. Yeah, very nice. So, like I said, guys. If I do miss one, feel free to let me know as many times as you want in that comment section, just so I know. But like I said, I will be checking the pile of doubles after, just to make sure that I didn't skim over one by accident. So, Nathan Cleary. Uh, menu, do I need menu? I, the name sounds familiar, I don't think I do, no? No. So we only need Cordner and Radley from the Roosters. Uh, we have David, we have Ben Hunt. Okay, so no rare in this one, because it's a parallel McCulloch, so it's not too bad. Let's throw that up there. So you get those packs every now and then. Whitehead, Hopawade, Ryan James, Kalen Ponga, and Jaden Braley. So yeah, no rares in that one, just the parallel. Let me know, guys, are you also collecting all of the pearl cards, like the parallel pearls? Let me know, is it parallel or is it platinum? It's platinum pearl, uh, parallel. Why am I saying pearl? Okay, so let me know in the comment section if you are collecting all of those as well. So we have Tyson Frizzell from the Dragons. Uh, we also have Jake Friend from the Roosters. We have the Cowboys checklist, which I don't think I need, no. And then Gutherson from the Eels. And our rare is going to be another face of the game. And I do have this guy because I do remember that name. It is John Asita, I think. I think, I'm pretty sure we do have him, but that is another face of the game to the collection. 
we have Beal right there, which we do also need to get Beal. Uh, moving forward, we have Funa Blake, which we do need. We have Hudson, which we do need. Townsend, which we do need. And Titans Checklist, do I need that? Please tell me I do. And I do, so that is cool. We're getting a lot of cards that we do need. So this list that I have on the side of me right now, is going to look a lot smaller moving into the next episode. We have what? Five packs left to go. So five packs in and we're already smashing out a bunch of the cards that we need. We're hunting down all those commons right now. Like I always do guys. Moving in to pack number six. We are going to be going with Tommy Burgess, which we do need. So that's cool. So now from the raid, uh, not the Raiders, from the Rabbitohs, the only player I need is Georgie Burgess. And he was the one that eluded me the longest in the last one. So we have Fisher Harris, which I do need. McKins, I'm pretty sure we ended up getting McKins. Yes, we did. So we don't need him. He's a double now. So he can go to the side. Corey Thompson, no. No rare by the looks of it. So Kiri. And then, do I need Kiri? No, I don't. No. Nah. And then, of course, Matt Pryor from the Sharks is our Pearl. Then, of course, we have Walker. So that is the Seagulls done, I believe. Because for the Seagulls, we only needed... Funa, Blake, and Walker, and we've just got both of them. So, Seagulls are now 100% done. Nathan Peets from the Titan, no. Uh, Kafusi, no, I don't need you. And Knight's Checklist, no, and I have this dude. Okay, so, we got a lot. We got a lot, yeah, yeah, we got a lot. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so, what do we have left to get? Who knows, we're gonna find out in the next episode, of course. Because unless I do get them all, then there won't be another one. Hey, it's Georgie Burge. It's the one we eluded for the so long. Team Marie right there as well. Moses and Bayer don't need him. Sean Johnson, I'm pretty sure we don't need him either. Uh, Will Smith from the Eels as our... We're not getting any rares. That's weird. So we got a parallel one there. Hoppawade, Ryan James, Kalen Ponga, Jaden Braylon, and Nick Kotrick. So, still no rares for a little bit since that last phase of the game. Three packs to go. But, like I said, we are getting a bunch of cards that we do need in our collection, guys. So, that is a plus. That is a big, fat plus. And, of course, I'm happy with that. So, kick out again, starting this one off. So, like I said, I did shuffle up these ten packs. So, I don't know which is from which news agencies. A couple, most of them are the same news agencies. And then a couple, I believe, are just like some random news agencies um like not the same like like same brand i mean and then like just some random brands uh cooper vaughn two of us to check and a rare is going to be a face of the game of Brody croft that's right Brody croft right there very nice would like another like at least a better rare would be good we've got johnston as our pearl um We've got Joel Thompson as our Seagulls, Fafida, Curtis Scott. That name sounds familiar. No, I don't need him. Safidi, and that is it. Two packs to go, guys. Still nothing really, really rare, but we are getting a lot of the base cards ticked off the list, and that is a good thing in a way, because that means that once it starts getting to the point where we have a lot of them ticked off the list, then comes the hunt for the last couple of cards to try and get some stuff and also I want to let you know guys you heard it here first once we finish the 2019 traders we will be doing something a little bit different involving the 2019 traders on the channel so hopefully you will all enjoy that so like I said stick around for once we finish the whole of the traders all the base set I mean and then do the book showcase in the book showcase, I will be announcing what the next project is, including the 2019 traders of the NRL cards. So, Sam Burgess. So we got all the Burgess in this episode, but we don't need Sam. We only needed Thomas and Georgie. Uh, Harris. Do I need Harris? No, I don't. I needed Beal and Fua, which I haven't even gotten any of those guys yet. Tamaro. Merrin. Rare. No rare. God damn. <laughs> this one better have a rare in it. I swear to God. Okay, so we got McCulloch as a pearl. We got Lachlan Lewis, Kahu, uh, Kahu, I mean, not Kahu, Kahu, <laughs> uh, Tafua, and Woods, and Rapana. So, 
Ah, oh, it's a little bit demoralizing when you get episodes like this, guys, where you don't get anything at all besides like face of the games and maybe some season to remembers and stuff. But as long as you can get like a lot of progress in your book, that is the main thing. But like I said, I have a bunch more episodes of this to come to the channel, so I have plenty of packs lined up ready to go if we do need it. Uh, did I need Napa? No, I didn't. So Dylan Napa in the last pack. Let's get some last pack magic, guys. Don't forget to cross your fingers, cross your toes, and don't forget to cross your nose because we want to get a rare card that we have yet to pull, or even a four and two one would be good. Napa. Eels checklist, I don't need you. Matt Scott, I'm pretty sure I do need a Matt Scott. Uh, Cowboys, just looking at my list. Yes, okay, so we needed Scott, T. Marie, and Felt, and we got T. Marie and Scott now. Uh, Widdop, we also did need, so that was cool. Uh, the rare is, ah, uh, it's a face of the game. It is SASE, which we do also need as a normal card. Unfortunate, we're getting a lot of like the ones that we need. Um, normal wise in like I guess you could say like the parallels or like we need this dude here too but in the parallels he's the last cowboy we need but parallels all face of the game we continue to get so Carl felt as our uh, parallel card sharks checklist which I don't need I don't think so a lot of the teams are nearly done with the checklist so no McCulloch no Don no Guerra no, and that is going to be it guys. So we're going to go through and recap what we got. If I did miss any guys, let me know in the comment section down below. But it is time to recap. We're going to start with recapping the parallels of what we got. So we got Felt, we got McCulloch, we got Johnston, we got Smith, we got Pryor, we got Beal, we got McCulloch again, we got Gutherson, we got Pete, and we got Felt again. So, there's 10 right there of the pearls. Move them to the side. Now, of course, we got a bunch of normal cards. I do know that there is a couple that we need. Like, we didn't get Brooks. Uh, we didn't get Boyd. We didn't get Milford, I think. Or Seiku. I, I don't know. So we got Widdop from the... He's got sort of the blonde hair, too. Widdop from the Dragons. Scott from the Cowboys. T. Marie from the Cowboys as well. Burgess, which is George Burgess. We got Dylan Walker. We got Fisher Harris. We got Tom Burgess, we got the checklist for the Titans, we got Chad Townsend, Josh Hodgson, Funa Blake, Avaro, Tigers checklist, Jai Arrow, Adokar, and McKins. So we got a lot of cards guys, which is very nice to get those ones all done. I'm going to put those to the side, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll have a double check of the, um, I guess you could say the, the doubles. Just to make sure, but going through our rares, we have SSA face of the game, Brady Croft as a face of the game, John face of the game, 2018 season to remember of Jerome, we got a Queensland of Josh Papali, uh, Papali and Connor Watson as a Knights face of the game. So that is going to be it, guys. We got a lot of cards. We're just going to go like this for the ending because, like I said, we got a lot of cards that we needed for our base collection guys if you did enjoy watching episode number five of the nrl 2019 traders make sure you hit that like button hard guys but not too hard because you break your computers guys don't forget that subscribe button and the notification bell to join the dog squad and guys if you want to follow me on all my social medias they're all linked in the description down below let me know in the comments down below let me know in the comment section guys if you have finished your set what is the rarest card you pulled how many premiership predictors do you have in your collection right now from this year's collection but guys that is going to be it. Stay tuned because there will be another episode because I knew, I do know, because I do know that we do need a couple more cards. So we will be going into another episode and we're going to be going by episode by episode to see if we can get those ones we need. But guys, like I said, if you did enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay awesome. The J-Stog is out of here. See you.